Hi everyone, it's Peter here and in this video I'm going to introduce you to a system called Chrome X which allows you to set up exams and assessments on Chromebooks limiting student internet access and of course access to their prior work. So Chrome X is a system we've purchased as a college and you can access it by going to app.chromex.io Once you get to this page you simply need to click sign in with Google it will automatically detect you are a teacher and take you to this page. So to set up an exam, we simply need to press the create button and then select exam. And now let's give our exam a name. Next, we need to select the start time and date and end time. And now let's select an end time. And now we've got a few options here we can select to customise our exam. So we can anonymise student submissions if we want to. We can submit automatically when the exam ends. So I'm going to leave this box ticked. I could even invite all students via Google Calendar so they're aware of when the exam will take place. But let's leave this uh, unselected for the time being. But what I will do is set a time limit on this exam. So let's make the time limit two hours. Next, we have the security section. So in here, we can set pin codes to start the exam, resume the exam, or submit the exam. So in this instance, I'm going to set a pin code to start the exam. So students won't be able to start the exam before your lesson without having this secret uh, pin code. And lastly, we have options down here for accessibility, which allows us to customize uh, the environment for students with access arrangements. So in here, for example, I can select spell checker if a student's entitled to use this. And then if I scroll down, I can find English, British. I can also turn on text to speech or speech to text. And once you're happy with all these settings, simply press create. OK, so now I've created the exam. I can still customize these settings if I want to. But the next thing we need to do is add some students to this exam. So let's scroll down and then select the add students button. And from here, I can either add an individual student. I could add a student from a group. So using one of the class or course groups we've created for you. Or I can add students from a course on Google Classroom. But in this case, I'm just going to set this exam up for an individual student who has a word processor access arrangement in my lesson. So let's select add user as a student. And then all we need to do is type in the student's email address and press add. After adding the students, you get some extra information appear up here. So from here, we can see whether a student has started the exam or not, whether it's currently open and whether it's been submitted. And while the student is taking the exam, if you click on the preview icon, you can preview the last saved content. And content gets saved, uh, I think, every 10 or 30 seconds. Now, if we go up here, we've got a few other tabs to explore. So let's select teachers next. So from this tab, you can add an additional teacher. Now this is useful if you have a co-teacher on that class and you also want them to be able to see the student work once it's submitted. And next we have modules, which you shouldn't really need to adjust. But from here, if you wanted to, you can add an extra writing space or a form. The resources tab will allow you to add resources to the student's exam environment. So for instance, if you wanted to add an exam paper, which could be a PDF to the student's exam environment, simply press add resource and select add drive files. And as you can see here, we've got several other types of resources you can add as well, such as a YouTube video or a website. And once you've finished configuring that exam, simply select exams on the left-hand side and you can see a list of all the exams you've created so far using Chrome X. Once the exam is completed and the student has submitted their work, you will see the submissions update here and you'll be able to click on the drive folder this icon here for the exam and that will enable you to see the student's work which will be saved as a Google Doc and as a PDF. Well that's it for this video, I hope you found it useful. We've also created a student guide for using Chrome X which I've included a link for in this video's description. If you've got any questions please do reach out and get in contact with me. Thank you for watching.